In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to convert units of speed, particularly how to convert miles per hour to feet per second. So this is going to be a multi-step conversion. In the first part of the problem, we need to convert units of length from miles to feet. And here's the conversion factor. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Next, we need to convert units of time from hours to seconds. One hour is 60 minutes, and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we'll have to convert from hours to minutes to seconds. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with what we're given. So we have a car traveling at a speed of 45 miles per hour. So let's start with that. So I'm going to put 45 miles on top, one hour on the bottom. Now let's begin by converting miles to feet. Notice that we have the unit miles on top in the first fraction. So we want to put the unit miles on the bottom of the second fraction so that those two units will cancel. So this portion is going to go on the bottom. So we have a 1 in front of miles, and then the other part of the conversion factor is going to go on top of the second fraction. That is 5,280 feet. So now we could cross out the unit miles. Now let's focus on converting hours to minutes. So notice that we have the unit hours on the bottom of the first fraction. So we need to put it on top of the third fraction. So we'll put this on the top, and then the other part of that conversion factor is going to go on the bottom. So now we could cancel the unit hours. Now let's convert minutes to seconds using our last conversion factor. So we have the unit minutes on the bottom. We're going to put the unit minutes on top of the next fraction. The 60 seconds will have to go on the bottom. So now we could cancel the unit minutes. So notice what we're left over. We have feet on top, seconds on the bottom. So this is going to give us the unit feet per second. Now we need to do the math. We're going to multiply by the numbers on the numerators of the fractions and then divide by the numbers on the denominators of the fractions. So it's going to be 45 times 5280 divided by 60, and then take that result divided by 60 again. So this is going to be 66 feet per second. So that's how you can convert from miles per hour to feet per second. Now for the sake of practice, let's work on another example. So let's say we have a fast car going at 85 miles per hour. Go ahead and convert this to feet per second. So feel free to pause the video and try this example. Let's start with what we're given, 85 miles per hour. Now we could follow the exact same process as the last problem, or we could change it up. We can convert miles to feet at the beginning, or we could do it at the end. It doesn't matter. The answer will still be the same. So let's do it slightly differently. Let's convert hours to minutes first. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then let's convert minutes to seconds. One minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So we can cross out the unit hours, and we can cross out the unit minutes. Now let's convert miles to feet. So we have the unit miles on top. We need to put it on the bottom. And then the other part of that conversion factor is going to go in the numerator. So that's 5,280 feet. So now we can cross out the unit miles. And as we can see, we have feet per second left over. 
So it's going to be 85 times 5280 divided by 60. And then divide that by 60 again. So you should get 124.6 repeating feet per second. If you multiply, if you take 5280 and divide it by 3600, 3600 is 60 times 60. You'll get 1.46 repeating. So if you simply multiply the value in miles per hour times 1.46 repeating, you're going to get your answer in feet per second. For those of you who want like a, a faster way of getting the answer. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert from miles per hour to feet per second.